Okay, hello everyone. I'm here with Naomi again today. It's week four of the Introduction to Neurology course. Hello, Naomi. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, Naomi's not got a brilliant internet connection today, but we're going to have a go at having a chat and recording this conversation. Um, so, week three last week was about, we covered the, interdis the interdisciplinary team and the ICF and assessment, and it's been a great week. Uh, I, I, for one, have certainly been very impressed with everyone's contributions to the discussion forums. There's been some great conversations in there. How have you found week three, Naomi? I think, like you just said, to me, the biggest thing has been how much input people are willing to give to each other on the discussion forums. Um, and it's great to see people starting to answer each other's questions as well. Like myself and, and, and Rachel, you know, we don't always have all the answers, so it's great when you start to see other physiotherapists starting to help us answer those questions as well, which is really, really helpful. Um, I think the week three has given a great intro to what's going to be coming down week four, just reviewing the importance of that multidisciplinary team. Um, and then obviously just reviewing you know, our assessment protocols and, and the type of outcome measures that we're using in neurology because that's going to be really important for this next phase when we're looking going into the treatment approaches. Having that good background in, in assessments and outcomes is really, really important. Okay, so leading on from there, why don't you give us a little bit of an introduction to what's coming up in week four, treatment interventions this week, I think. Okay, so... Week four, um, we've got some great things coming up, a couple of really good interviews. Um, Emma Stack is going to talk a little bit about Parkinson's and about physical activity. Um, and we also have Matthew Lasono, who is a physiotherapist from New Zealand, who also has a spinal cord injury. He was the first tetraplegic to qualify as a physiotherapist. Um, so we've got a little bit of um, some words from him about his um, process of rehabilitation, how he found it, and now kind of the things he would put forward that he's gone back to become a physiotherapist, things that he might look at differently or things he should consider within rehab. Um, so that's really interesting, I think, to get his perspective. Um, and then a lot of really the treatment approaches that are out there for the chance to review your knowledge and understanding of what is available, because in Europe, as everyone has kind of said to date, it is about using lots of different techniques Techniques. It's not about one thing just working, it is about looking at lots of different approaches that work in different ways with different patients. So the more we know about those approaches, the more we can start to bring lots of different things into our treatment. Um, and then we kind of try to look a little bit at technology and back of technology that's coming in and starting to become available and the impact that will have, which obviously is a big difference depending on if you live in a country that has more funding available to so living in um, countries like in Africa and the Middle East, where technology, you know, the access to it is, is much more limited. Um, and then the, the key thing we talk a lot about is physical activity and exercise. And the importance of them in, in the neural process. And um, I think long term, the effects they have, not just during rehabilitation, but what happens when, when somebody actually leaves and goes home and starts their, their life outside of having physiotherapists to work with them. Brilliant. So I think you make some really good points there. Um, it's definitely good to have a good toolbox of lots of different op uh, options for treatment uh, interventions um, because you're going to be using different things with different patients. And then it's always interesting to look at the technology, um, what's coming in. So it'll be great to have a look at that. And I'm very... I'm excited to have a look at the in the interview um, with Matthew because it's a really interesting interview and I hope everyone enjoys it. So um, it's a special person in a special situation in our profession. So um, that'll be a really interesting interview as well. So and then, yeah, the, the, with the different treatment approaches, I think in the discussion forums, if everyone is able to share different ideas and different experiences again then you know those discussion forums are a really great place to share learning and share knowledge because you know you can learn more from each other than you can from just someone telling you certain things so really share your knowledge this week um, and let's let's see how we get on so um, yeah so I don't think there's anything else from me anything else from you Naomi? No, I, I, like I, I think you said, I think the key is the more we can get people to feedback on the things that they're trying out, 
Um, and particularly those who are in different settings, I think we can all learn from people's different experience. And I think that's what we can get more of. You know, we can all go and read the articles in our own time. We can read the books. But I think it's learning from each other. That's the, the thing that we really get the benefit from this course. Brilliant. Okay, so I think we'll, um, with your internet connection, we'll leave it there. And we look forward to seeing everyone in the discussion forums in week four. So enjoy week four, everyone.